Hello, this is CB from Loving What You Do and Doing What You Love. That's right, together, you and I, we can put in more love, peace, and prosperity on earth and make the world a better place. One phrase been ringing on my heart. Einstein said, where there is love, there's no impositions. And the images of Mother Teresa kept coming back to me. Since she was eight years old, she already been praying about going to India, a country she never been to, to help the people there. And then when India was not big enough for her, she went around the world. You know what she has? She has love here. Therefore, wherever she goes, she's spreading the love. Often when I watch news, when I see violence, shooting, hurting, Yes, I do feel sad here, but I also pray for the people who do that because those who are hurting are hurting others. Imagine if they're full of love, they will not be thinking about shooting, hurting, cursing, or damaging because loving people has more love to give when your lack of love you cannot give love to the world. And the last few days, there was a video. I think some of you may have seen it and I will attach it at the bottom, at the comment as well. It's about some white community get together and start praying on their knee for the black community because of the death of George Floyd. It was very touching. It really demonstrates love. People were in tears. And it also reminds me of this phrase. It says, above all this, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Colossians 3.14. So today, I would like you to think, actually think about Mother Teresa, because she said, if you want world peace, go home, love your family. In fact, go home and love the closest one to you, which I think the first person is here. If you don't have love here, you cannot give love. So I'm going to end my face uh, tonight with sharing something very famous you hear a lot in wedding. But I want you to think about it as in your life, if you carry that quality. Love is patience. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It does not dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not selfish. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight like in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects always trust, always hopes, always perseveres. 1 Coronations 13, 4 to 7. So ask yourself, what quality do you possess in love? Okay, together, you and I, we can live up the world. Let's start from here, from our heart, and grow more love so we can spread that all over. So today, if possible, please spend at least one minute to send positive thought or prayer about world peace. Remember, together we can make a difference. No matter how small it is, if we're heading to the right directions, we can create more love, peace, and prosperity on earth. See you tomorrow. And this is CB from Loving What You Do and Doing What You Love.